Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I did a Moira haul the other day and these are some of the products that I picked up. I picked up their new Moira ticket, Moira Land ticket booth into the Dreamland series bundle. This bundle includes their latest two eyeshadow palettes, which are right here. Wait till I show you close-up pictures and swatches of these palettes. I think a lot of you are going to love them. They even included some little Moira Land tickets. I thought that was so cute. I also picked up this loose tricolor setting powder. This is their set and correct loose powder in the shade 05 Rose Pink. I had to pick up a green eyeliner. This is a gel pencil. And then I also picked up a pink, pinkish concealer. This is their CC Prep Concealer, and this one is in the shade. 100 fair. I will have my Moira playlist linked in a pinned comment in case you want to check out any more of my past Moira videos. This is a brand I really, really enjoy. And if you want to shop Moira, my friends over at Motivate the Earth, they do have an affiliate discount code. It is Earth15, and that'll give you, I think it's 10%. I don't know if it's 15 or 10, but it will give you a certain percentage off of your order. And that's the code I use every time I buy my Moira goodies. If you all want to see this full face of a Moira beauty in action keep on watching. Now I want to start first with showing you guys some up close pictures and swatches of the two eyeshadow palettes. They do come as a bundle but you can buy them separately. Together they retail for $35. I think that is a very fair price point. Let's start first with the Magic Dreaming palette. So this palette of course is going to be a 15 pan palette. Includes matte and shimmer shadows. I feel like this is the one that's going to be a little more on on maybe the deeper side maybe a little darker palette versus the next palette which is called fun is in the air again another 15 pan palette and you can see what I mean this palette is definitely brighter has matte and shimmer shadows it's got those pops of neon and of course you do get a mirror with each palette and when you open them guys they open down here at the bottom there's like a little flap and you just pull it up and then the shade names are on the back it says that it is good for 12 months after opening it is uh, animal tested free and it is also vegan so let me start by pinning my hair back i really need to wash my hair um i should have done that yesterday we have had some really bad weather the last like 12 hours all night it was storming and when i mean storming i mean loud thunder lights flickering lightning you name it i'm gonna go in first with a product i already had in my stash and it is this primer right here this is the moira dream canvas vitamin primer balm and it is in the shade 01 translucent this primer is similar to the elf putty primer but i like this one so much better and i'm going to kind of just speed through some of these complexion products that i've already tried on my channel a few times that way we don't take up too much time. Next, I'm going to go in with the Complete Wear Foundation. And the shade that I have in this one is 150 Barely Beige. I'm using my It Cosmetics Love is a Foundation Brush to apply. This is a full coverage foundation. I do enjoy this foundation. Everything at Moira, guys, is super affordable. That's why I say they're like... The BH Cosmetics that was, I find a lot of similarities between the two. And since, you know, BH is not the same as they used to be, I think if you miss them, definitely check out the Moira website. Moira just has so much stuff to look at. And they're a California based indie makeup brand, and they just have a lot of cool things. I know if you live in Texas, you can find Moira in select HEBs. HEB is our um, chain of supermarkets down here. Um, they, I've seen them in a couple of my stores, but the store that I have like closest to me doesn't carry them. But one of the stores where in the city that I work in does have them. But I usually just order everything online. 
Okay, so love the finish of the foundation. Let's go in with this new concealer I picked up. Once again, it's called CC Prep Concealer. It's going to have a bit of like a pinkish tint to it. And that's why I wanted to try it because I've been seeing all of these like pink setting powders, pink concealers coming out. I do have a full coverage Moira concealer. This is a really good concealer that I might place on top of this. We'll see if I need to, but I might use it to spot conceal um, just on the sides of my cheeks. That's always where I like to build up additional coverage. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Brightening Concealer Brush just to blend this out. Okay, so I think that concealer looks nice. It's definitely brightening. And I think it offered some pretty good coverage. I'm going to go in with the Moira uh, Mega Concealer. This one is in the shade 150. And I'm just going to use it to kind of just build up coverage right in this area. This is always where I spot conceal because of old acne scars and minor discoloration. And just to give you a price, this concealer right here was $7.50, less, of course, the discount. Now, what am I going to do? I don't think I'm wearing any other cream products. So I'm going to go in with a setting spray that I've been really enjoying. I've had this in my stash for a while, and this is their Micro Dot setting spray. It has oil control. It's a microfine mist, which it definitely is, retinol and hyaluronic acid, herbal and floral extracts. Next, we're going to go in with the Set and Correct Loose Powder. This says that it's going to blur the complexion. It's also going to help with oil control. It says it has avocado oil in it, and it's going to provide a soft matte finish. So here's an up-close look at what it looks like there on the lid. You can definitely see the tricolor effect. So I'm going to get my little powder puff, and I guess I'm just going to swirl. And this is the shade 04. Five, what was it? O5 Rose Pink. I have some on the powder puff. I'm just going to take a little bit off on the back of my hand and use this to set. I think this is going to be a dupe for like the Givenchy powder, which I've always wanted to try that powder. I just haven't wanted to pay the price tag for it. I did order that new, what's well, not new, what's well, their most latest shade of the Huda Beauty powder was it cherry blossom the shade that should be coming in probably this weekend or early next week because it finally came in stock I'm going to use this to set obviously my t-zone I am a normal to oily skin type for those of you that it's your first time watching me hello and welcome to my channel I hope you guys will consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell notification you can be notified every time I drop a new video. This is actually a double upload day for me. Sometimes I do that if I have time, which I'm off from work since it is the Easter weekend, Easter holiday, and happy Good Friday. I forgot to mention that. Happy Good Friday for all of those of you who celebrate. Wow, I think this looks nice. There's a lot of Moira products that I've just been very very pleased with and I can tell already this new concealer and the new powder are going to become some of my favorites. Now I'm going to go in with this blush and bronzer. I've used these on camera several times already. The bronzer is in the shade 01 Sunkissed Honey and the uh, blush, this one is in the shade 04 Morning Sunshine. A word of caution with the blush, it is super pigmented as is the bronzer but the blush is slightly more pigmented, so you want to go in with an easy hand. I'm using my BK Beauty 111 brush. Now I'm going to go in with a blush, and I'm just going to swirl. Make sure you tap. This is my Refer 04. They have several different ombre colors. They also have some cream blushes. The cream blushes are very similar to the Tower 28 cream blushes. They look like the packaging is almost identical. I have a couple of them. Um, again, check out my Moira playlist. It's going to be linked in a pinned comment. That way you can see some of these other products that I'm kind of speeding through in action because I've definitely used them already on my channel. I forget how much these blushes are, but 
they're definitely like 10 bucks or less. And then of course, use the affiliate code from Motivate the Earth, Earth 15, and that'll give you a bit of a discount. Now I'm gonna go in with the Alluring Glow Highlighter Palette. And I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the pink one up here. This one is called Flirt. I'm using my Rare Beauty Highlighter Brush. Beautiful. This is a beautiful highlighter palette. I definitely recommend this one. And guys, everything I'm using, I will have it linked and listed in the description box. I'm not affiliated with Moira, so none of those links are going to be affiliate links. Now, I, I don't have any... Do I? I don't think I have any Moira brow products, to be honest. I think I only have one Moira mascara, too. But I might do lashes for today. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to take care of my brows. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to start playing. I don't know which palette I'm going to use first. But we're going to start playing with one of these new palettes. All right, guys. Brows are on. And I picked up the wrong brow pencil. I picked up the Auburn brow pencil from when I had red hair. So... If my brows look a little on the red side, that is why. But this is a palette we're going to go in first. I want to do a white base for the second palette just because it has those neon shades. So the eyeshadow primer I'm using is this one from Sugar Drizzle. You guys know this has quickly become one of my favorite primers. And I do have a discount code with Sugar Drizzle. It is Steph10. And that will give you 10% off of your order. This primer is only like $7.50. It's tacky. I feel like it's hydrating. And it's just been doing a great job in my stash. So this palette right here, this is the Magic Dreaming palette. And this is like a more of a cool tone color story, I guess I could say. I guess you could say. So let's see. I am I really love this pink. I'm loving the purple, the dark blue. I'm tempted to do these two here. And then use this to deepen it up and then maybe this on the lid we're gonna be creating two looks with this one so yeah let me do let's start there i'm gonna start with ferris wheel i'm taking ferris wheel on an it's bell e5 and i'm gonna kind of just build this up like right in here the It's Bell Cosmetics brush set, brush set <laughs> that they recently dropped a couple weeks ago, it is their Essentials Eye Brush Set, has become like my new favorite set of eyeshadow brushes. They're synthetic, but they're just, they're just all so good. I love all the shapes, the sizes, and they're intended for hooded eyes. And I have a discount code with them as well. I believe it's also Steph 10 all of my codes and stuff links are usually at the top of the description box if you guys ever want or need a discount code for any of your favorite indie brands i have a few of them uh posted there but i did get my singe beauty brushes in and i will be using them this weekend i am so excited and singe beauty is angelica's uh brand new brand and those were she launched with a set of five eyeshadow brushes. I'm so excited for those. Ooh, okay, this is a very, very pretty color. These palettes are just in time for festival season. I don't get to partake in festival season. I don't get to go to any of the outdoor concerts and stuff like that or festivals, but if you do, these might be worth checking out. I mean, 35 bu bucks for two palettes, that's not bad at all. I forget how much they are originally like individually they could be 20 each i think they're 20 each now in a refer 14 i'm going in with that mid-tone blue called what is it universal i'm just gonna focus that here in the crease i'm happy that there are no press glitters in this either one of these moira palettes because some of the other palettes that i have from them do contain a press glitter and I'm just I'm not the biggest fan I'm not the biggest fan of press glitter I, I do think it has you know it's time and its purpose but it's not something that I reach for or I want to use every day I'm gonna add a little bit more of ferris wheel now on that same refer 14 I'm gonna go into that dark blue matte and this one is called fireworks it's 
blending on top of those other shades perfectly. Now on a damp It's Belt E9, I'm going in with that teal shimmer. This one is called Carnival. Pick up the product first and then I spray it with some Mac Fix Plus. This is a beautiful shade. I love a teal shade. Shimmer or matte. I'll take it either way. Add a little bit of the dark blue, which is called Fireworks, just to blend right in here. For the lower lash line, I think I want to do, I'm going to try going in with this purple, Midnight Fun, using a BK Beauty 210. Is it 210? Yeah, 210. This is part of their extended core brush line set. Smaller detail brushes, always good for hooded eyes especially, and even for beginners. Now with that same brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Fireworks, which is a dark matte blue. And I'm just going to really like use it to tight line the lower lash line. Now I think I'm going to do this shimmer shade called Mood for the inner corner highlight I'm using a damp It's Bell E1. E1 or E7? E7. E1. I want to see one. I had the same problem in my last video. Is it E1 or is it E7? Sometimes the ones look like the seven. Okay, guys. Ooh, I love, love this. I am going to pop off camera to take care of finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay, guys, so here's the completed look number one. Again, this is with the Magic Dreaming Palette. I love the way this look turned out. I'm wearing a Ladybug Glow Lip Gloss that was generously gifted to me uh, in PR by the owner, Amanda. By the way, I wanted to mention that if you loved the Murky Waters palette from Ladybug Glow, they have like 20 palettes left. So definitely head on over there. You can use my affiliate code Steph. It'll give you 10% off of your order. But yeah, when I talked to her last night, she said, I only have about 20 left. So if you love Murky Waters, I'll have my video linked up above. That is a beautiful, grungy, just beautiful palette. And if you love mermaids and like the ocean and all of that, that's the palette for you. Let's get back to this look though. So I tight lined with, surprise, surprise, not my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner, but an Earthly Cosmetics sent me a black eyeliner pen. So I'm gonna be using this one in today's video. They have some new stuff coming up really soon. I think they have some new highlighters coming out um, really soon. They've been sneak peeking them on their uh, Instagram. For the lower waterline, a NYX Epic Wear Liner. This is part of their new limited edition collection, and I picked up like all five or six different NYX Epic Wear liners that they had um, because I love these. I love these for the waterline. They stay so well. This one is in the shade Saw a Ghost Pepper and I thought it paired perfectly with the look. The mascara I'm using in today's video is the OG Fenty Mascara. Um, what's the official name on this one? A Full Frontal Mascara. I did pick up their new mascara but I'm saving that for like a full face of trying new makeup video. I absolutely love the way this look turned out. I had no issues with uh, any of the shadows. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right, so for look number two, I want to use these brown tones and then I want to do something fun on the lower lash line. I don't know. I just feel like this will create a different look than what I think most people would create with this palette, which are obviously something like this, more colorful looks, but I wanna try doing something a little bit neutral and then just pop it with a, a color on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start first with the shade called It's a Date. And I'm taking it on an It's Bell E7. Okay, this one says seven, yeah. Okay, so the other one, I had it right, it was an E1. I'm just gonna focus this in the crease. I feel like this is a bit of a cool toned brown shade, a nice transition shade. We're actually going to be mixing a little bit of cool and warm together, which I don't mind doing at all. I think 
I think you can create some beautiful looks when mixing different tones together. Now I'm going to go in with a rougher 14 and you know, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll do this shade. I'll do this one in the crease. This one's called Joy and then Yay, which is the darker brown, will be for the outer corner. I feel like this, this palette feels like a little bit of a different formula. I'm going to go back in with that first brush I used for the first shade. No additional product. I feel like the formula is a little better. Not that they had a terrible formula to begin with, but I feel like I see an improvement. I'm feeling an improvement. Okay, now with that same refer 14, I'm going in with the darker shade called Yay. I'm going to add a little bit more of Joy, which was the second shade I used. I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm changing my mind a little bit here. So I think I'm going to do this shade, this purple on the lid. This one is called Dreamland. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. I'm going to try and use two different shades here. So I'm focusing this on the outer half. Now I'm going to dip into that gold shimmer called Sensational. Same brush. I'm just going to flip it around and spray it. Feeling a little bit of fallout. And I did get some fallout over here when I was working with that purple shadow, but I was able to wipe it away. Oh, I love that. That was so pretty. I'm so glad that there's no press glitters in this palette. <laughs> okay, now for the lower lash line, I was originally assuming purple, but since I already have that going on over here on the right eye, I think I'm going to try this dark blue shimmer shade. This one is called Adventures. I'm taking that on a damp Refer 26. Refer is gearing up for their spring sale. So I'll definitely be posting about that in my community section this weekend because it's going to ha happen in like a week or two. They're going to have, I think, like half off site-wide or 40% off site-wide, something like that. Now with that same brush, I'm going to pick up some of the gold shimmer called Sensational. I'll just bring that down. Okay, guys, I am going to do the finishing touches off camera, and I'll be right back to show you the second and final look with the Magic Dreaming palette. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number two for the lower waterline. I mean, do you even need to ask? Give by Gwen Stefani in the shade Bathwater and then same everything else. I love the way this look turned out. I was thinking it was going to be a bit more muted at the top. I thought it was going to be a bit more neutral, but the palette just took me in a different direction. I absolutely love these two looks that I was able to create with the Magic Dreaming palette. This is going to be the more cool toned palette. I think the deeper tone palette of the two and I absolutely loved it. Performed so, so well. I'm going to take some pictures and I'm going to take a lunch break because my DoorDash order just arrived and I'll be right back and we're going to start creating a couple looks with Fun is in the air. Okay, guys, so I added a white eyeshadow base, and I'm using this one from e.l.f. It is their No Budge Cream Shadow, and it's just white. And so that's what I have going on on the lids. And I'm ready. I'm ready to begin. Fun in is in the air. Yeah, fun is in the air. This is the color story we're going to be working with. So, okay, this is just blinding me it's just popping out at me it's saying Steph put me in the inner corner just like really blow it out so is this orange one this orange is not coming across as neon at least on my monitor but in person it is neon so 
I think I've done enough of like a yellow lime green inner corner in my more recent videos. Let's try going in with the orange one. This one is called Do Good. And I'm taking this on a Game Beauty E01. I just saw that e.l.f. dropped their new like liquid contours and glowy blushes. Kind of like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I'm going to see if I can pick those up uh, in my local Ulta over the weekend. That's why I didn't, I didn't order them. I'm hoping I can. If not, then I've done my fair share of e.l.f. reviews <laughs> already. So you can definitely search my channel for my e.l.f. playlist. I have like just so many e.l.f. videos. And I just tried their American Eagle collection the other day. So if you were wondering how that collab went, uh, you can definitely search that. I've started a playlist that goes every month, month by month. So I started that that's new for 2023. So that way you can whenever you look under play the playlist tab, you can just look like March or April, and it'll give you like all the videos that I put out during that particular month. I even included the shorts in that playlist as well. Look at how the white base is making this neon orange pop. I mean, wow. Love it. Okay, I'm I'm in heaven. So I think I'm going to go in next with, I think I'm going to do the pink. And again, these shades are more neon. When you look at them in person, they're more neon. They're not really translating that way on camera. This one is called Limitless. Now I'm going to use my Refer 14. And I'm going to carefully apply this. Right out here, I'm going to leave some of that space free on the lid. Just lightly blend it with the orange right there. Pull that down. This is, I think, the darkest shade in this particular palette. Maybe the blue, but I'm not going to pair the blue with this look. Maybe I'll do the blue for the lower lash line. I think that might be cool. Wow. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so, so much. I'm having such a good time with this palette. The both of them, just everything that I've got in this little haul seems to be performing so, so well. Let's try the neon yellow. I'm going to try placing that right in here. I'm going to just see, I'm going to see what happens. Maybe I should, should I remove some of this orange? I probably should, but I'm not going to. Uh, let me just see what I can come up with. I'm going to use a Game Beauty E04. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's pretty. That's enough. Just something small to kind of pop the middle of the lid. I think I'm going to leave this as an all matte look up here and we'll do something maybe a little shimmer down here. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe this will just be an all matte look. It's definitely fun. I mean, you want festival makeup? <laughs> this is it. Maybe add some rhinestones or glitter. I'm going to touch up the orange a little bit. Let's go in with this blue. This is a matte blue. This one's called MU. I'm taking that on a BH pencil brush. I'm going to take it to about right there. I did get a little bit of fallout. I'll clean that up right now. Now that same brush, I'm going to pick up the orange. Do I want to do a shimmer? I don't know. I'm torn between adding a shimmer or not. I kind of like the idea of just this all matte look. Maybe we'll just you, you do it like this. We'll leave it like this, all matte. Let me add some finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you this completed look at number one with the Fun is in the Air palette. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number one. I am absolutely in love with this look. All matte look. 
they're gonna so so pretty i added these lashes i've been wearing these lashes for the last three days i got them during the uh, ulta 21 days of beauty sale they are the natalia light lashes from house of lashes i really like this brand for lashes just fyi i added some more of that unearthly cosmetics black liner to do just a little wing i was like do i do a wing in color or do i do a wing with the black liner I wanted to play it a little bit safe. I didn't want to mess up the look, so I thought black liner would be perfect, especially with the lash. For the lower waterline, I went in with two different Uden's Eye eyeliners. The blue one is shade 09, and then the orange one is shade 02. Not as neon orange as the shadow is. It's a little bit darker, and I think you can see that right there on the inner corner, but it still works. I just... I love this look so much. Guys, I've been having so much fun with these two eyeshadow palettes. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I changed into this lipstick. It is also from Ladybug Glow Cosmetics. It's this beautiful shade right here. This one is called Missy. All right, so for the next look, should we do something? I kind of want to use this blue shade and maybe the pink. Maybe we could do these two together and then maybe do this like in the center of the lid or this shade. These two shades have a little bit of shift to them. So I think I'm going to start first with this shade. I'm going to just work it in the inner corner. And then I will, I might have to go in with a little bit of this one. And then the blue, we'll see. But let me start first with this one. This one's called Cotton Candy. Ooh, that sounds good. I haven't had Cotton Candy in years. Now I'm taking Cotton Candy on uh, another Game Beauty E01. I have two of them because... I love these brushes so much. This is one of my, like, if you ask me to rank my top 10 brushes, this is definitely going to make that top 10 list because it's just the perfect little size for doing this type of work, like packing shadow in the crease and then right there in the inner corner. It just does a real good job of packing to where you don't really need to blend much afterwards. So now on this Refer 01, I'm going in with that blue shade. This one's called Here for the Thrill. And I'm just going to kind of try and focus this up here. I don't plan these looks out. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing until, you know, Till I'm sitting down to try and create something. I think I'll maybe wing this out a little bit. So I do have some free space there. I'm going to go in with that purple shade. It's called I Love You. I'm going to use a refer 13. I'm just filling in. I'm going to wing it out as well. Kind of wish there was a deeper shade in this palette. Maybe like a, a green or a black even. A matte black would have been nice. I'm kind of just bringing it up a little bit to bridge the gap between those two shades. But I'm going to put a shimmer over it, so I'm not too concerned. I'm cleaning off that Refer 13, and I'm just going to blend right in here. There is no additional product. You don't want to go overboard. You want to go in with a very light hand, light pressure, just something like that. All right, so now I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this shade right here. I'm going to put that in the center. This one is called Moira Land. I'm taking Moira Land on a damp It's Bell E9. I'm just going to focus that right in here. Okay, I love this. Just a little fun touch of sparkle right there to the center of the lid. Let's move downwards to the lower lash line and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This looks like it's a purple to pink reflect. Um, this is OBS. 
And I'm using a damp beach cosmetics pencil brush. I think this one is probably better for the lid. So you can really see the shifts in it better, but no, I think that's tying in. I think that's that's working. It blends in with this purple I have up here. Yeah, and I, I'll I'll probably do a deeper purple liner for the lower waterline. Let's do something different for the inner corner. I guess we could do. See, we have this like bone shade. I don't know if that I could always do that on the brow bone actually you know what let me clean off my brush and I'll get some of this shade and actually no I really don't need that up here because I have the white base but uh let's just put it just to use the shades I'm gonna try this one I'll go in with the shade right here this one is called fun times same brush I did spray it. Okay guys, I am going to pop off camera and do finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you the final look. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number two. Absolutely love it. I mean, I just spoke about not eating cotton candy in years. This is totally giving me cotton candy vibes. For the top lash line, the blue liner I went in with is this new one from Urban Decay. It's their 24-7 inks liner. This one is in the shade Binge. And for the lower water line, I went in with this one from Maybelline. It's their Tattoo Studio liner in the shade purple pop. And then, of course, same everything else. You know what I forgot to use? Or I just... I guess I never found an opportunity to use it was the green liner that I picked up and this is their uh, statement gel liner in the shade 08 lime and it's just a retractable pencil liner. I'm going to swatch it back here. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get some good use out of that one. It's just none of the looks lent itself themselves to a green liner. I love this. I had so much fun today, guys. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video. In case you don't know my final thoughts, I'm just, I'm going to share them with you anyway. Okay, guys, I had such a fun time filming these last couple hours with these new Moira Beauty products that I was able to pick up. Let's start first with the complexion products, which were the concealer and, of course, the tricolor powder. I love both of them. This powder is definitely blurring and it is also very brightening, as is the concealer. The concealer is in the shade 100 Fair. What but I want to try, and I should have done that when I was starting these two looks because I have to obviously remove, you know, part of the concealer and stuff to take off the uh, the old looks. But what I should have done was gone in with that full coverage concealer first and then done this on top because it's meant to be more of a brightener. So that's definitely how I'm going to use it or try to use it going forward. But on its own, because that's all I have, I have this concealer with the powder on top I think it's very blurring and very smoothing and I like it like it gives me enough coverage I would say it's maybe more along the lines of like a medium coverage but if you do it that way that I just said do your regular concealer first and then put this on top just to brighten a little bit I think it's gonna be perfect and these like pinky like adding pink or blush to the under eye that's like the trend lately I haven't tried pink blush under the eye and of course it's liquid or cream but um I've been seeing it a lot like on Instagram reels and stuff like that so that's why I kind of wanted to pick this one up same thing with the powder you know I've always wanted to try the Givenchy powder that is like 50 bucks or more this one was like maybe 10 12 $13 less the Earth 15, you know, discount that you can get. Um, I'll have that code in the description box, by the way. But this is a really nice tricolor powder, and I cannot wait to use it going forward. Um, the main event, the show right here, were the two eyeshadow palettes. Uh, Fun is in the air is the one that I have on my lids right now. This is a more colorful neon. It's not coming across neon on 
camera, but trust me, these are some bright neon shades. It's just beautiful. I think, I don't know, I feel like maybe I had more fun with this one than I did the other one, but I like them both equally. I like how different the color stories are, and it's just cute little box, you know, packaging. You have the shade names on the back as well. This is the first palette I went in with, which, which is called Magic Dreaming, and this is a cooler maybe a little bit more muted color story when compared to the palette that I'm currently uh, wearing on my eyes, but it's still a beautiful palette to work with. If you can get the bundle, the bundle retails for $35 and includes obviously both of the palettes. It's just a cute little PR box and stuff. You get some little tickets, you know, just fun to take pictures with and stuff. I would definitely go that route because these shadows feel like they're a step up from other Moira eyeshadow palettes that I have in my stash and again my Moira playlist will be linked in a pinned comment in case you want to check out a couple of the other videos I have on my channel featuring this brand I think I think they are a very good replacement for BH cosmetics and I've been saying that for quite some time now if you miss the old BH cosmetics before they were bought out by makeup revolution take a look at this brand. I think you're going to find a lot of goodies on there, a lot of affordable goodies because there's really not much over $20 on the Moira website. And if you use that affiliate code earth15, it's not mine. It belongs to my friends over at motivate the earth. Um, that will give you a certain discount off of your order. Let me know guys. Let me know which palette you like best. Let me know what you thought of the look. You'll definitely be seeing me use the green eyeliner. Haven't forgotten about it. Just wasn't able to tie it into any of the looks but let me know which palette you like best which looks did you like best what has your experience been with Moira Beauty so far sound off in the comments down below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water cheers and I will see y'all very soon bye